Pam is with us in Cincinnati. Hi, Pam. Welcome to the Dave Ramsey Show. Hi, Dave. Thanks so much for taking my call. My honor. How can we help? Well, I am 60 years old. I'm a teacher. Um, I cannot officially retire until I'm 65. But um, this school year, right about a week before the school year started, um, I was advised by my health care professional that I should not return to the school due to the COVID situation and some underlying issues that I have. Um, I'm able to work. I was working five jobs. I work a retail job on the side. I do copy editing on the side. I do a lot of stuff on the side. But um, with this big chunk of income gone, my husband, who also works, wanted to take a loan out on his um thrift savings plan he worked no. in the government thing and i don't i desperately don't want him to do that no. he made that mistake years and years ago no and I, I i'm on board with you but i don't have another option and that the thing is there's a lot of things i can just ramp up like my copy editing business and stuff but those will take a little bit of time to build he, up he's so just, he's just interim, wait, minute, wait, wait, wait he's just panicking he's very scared yeah, absolutely. He's just panicking. Uh, absolutely so what does he yeah. make um, he makes about, well, I can tell you, let's see, 50, so he makes about 45 a year. And you all can't and live on I that. Make, and, well, not with the house that we have at this point, and we have an, a lot of debt. Okay. And, um, How much, what do you have, what is the debt on? Uh, we've got credit cards, student loans, and a, another big loan that we had taken out. What is the other big loan? I think it's a, it was, we desperately had to do some house repair thing. You don't have any we car have payments? Uh, well, we have $6,000 left on my car. Okay. All right. What do you owe on your home? We owe about um, $205,000. Mm -hmm. And what can you make with, what you're, with your situation well, right now? Well, I mean, I really think I can ramp it up and make as much. I mean, I figured out mathematically that I only need to bring in $30,000 a year for us to be okay. Mm -hmm. And not just, you know, so, and that's with paying down debt and getting, mm -hmm. moving forward. Mm -hmm. But the problem is just this month, like these next couple of months where I, where the everything's not, I haven't built up everything. We don't just, we just don't know how to navigate those couple months. I thought about doing DoorDash. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, cause I'm a scrapper. I'll do whatever I have to do. But, so it's, um, it's not okay to be in the classroom, with. but it's okay to do DoorDash. Yeah. Well, the, the environment of the school, because schools are notoriously not well ventilated, I teach choir, and so the singing and the aerosols in a room, and it's a crowded environment, that's what he was most concerned about. It, that DoorDash probably isn't, well, see, I'm not really in contact with anybody. That's okay. what I'm thinking. Okay. I don't care. So I, I, I mean, can, say, can your I husband work, can your home. husband pick up some extra? See, all we got to do is do this for uh, 60 he, or 90 days till your other stuff kicks in, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, yeah. Until I get the other stuff built up. And he already does. He ta he works all the overtime he can right now at his present job. And that pretty much whips his butt because he's working every day of the week. And that's that nets him 40 grand after overtime and everything. Um, no, I think with the overtime, now that he's doing that, that'll probably bring us in some more than that. Yeah. 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 So Cause now he's bringing home about 15,000 twice a week or not 1,000, 1,500 twice a week. Yeah. Yeah, I'm looking at extra jobs, especially for the next 60 yeah. to 90 days. Um, I, I'm with yeah. you. I, I like the DoorDash. Um, I also like maybe even doing some Uber, Eat, Uber Eats. But let me ask you the other question. What can you do as far as in a small business from home to generate some income? Wait a yeah, you're a music teacher. That's why you, I was about you to start say. doing piano lessons or something? Yeah, I do already. I already do lessons, and I that's one of the things I can build up. See, I didn't have a to do a lot because I was busy teaching school. And yeah, I but a the lot kid, of the kids, there. a bunch of them aren't going back to school, so they could probably add, you could probably add some kids on piano easier than you could add DoorDash. Yeah, right, and that's true. And it's just going to take time to build that up. Is the thing not much that doesn't happen? Fast. Not not much. And no. I'll tell you this much: I had a vocal coach, not for singing, but for speaking, and she did that online. Mm -hmm. And so maybe you can yeah, take your. Can build your opportunities online and generate money. And there are websites out there uh, that you can actually put your information on and they will, they will actually push you out there some more. So you have some options here to go ahead and get some extra income without uh, touching the TSP. Yeah. I'm not touching it. I'm going to make it. Yeah. Uh, I would rather get behind on a couple of bills than borrow on the TSP. And I don't think you're going to have to, because yeah. I think some tight budgeting, 
Lots of ingenuity on extra job things for you and hubby. The overtime, he's already working. Uh, and you guys tighten this budget down, tighten this budget down, tighten this budget down, cut the cable off, all that kind of crap. And let's just go to work. And um, then and then as you get your income up from some of these different areas, you may end up making more than you did in the classroom when it's all over. And um, sadly, they may have lost a really good teacher in the process. That's really sad. I'm sorry you guys are facing this, but you're a scrapper. I can tell by talking to you, and I think you're going to make it. I think she's going to do just fine. She's going to do perfect.